welcome back to in the cut with c um we're going to talk about how do you stay relevant in this industry this uh ever-changing business that we're working in obviously to be you know somebody really prominent in this industry you have to stay up on what the competition is doing you have to really see what's going around you um you know youtube Google, all types of outlets, you know, all the social media sites. You know, if you're a hood barber, you're a kid that's 13, 14 years old starting out cutting hair, or you're a college kid just trying to make some extra cash, we're all the same, man. Barbers start at a certain place and it, there's no limit to where you can go. Uh, there's a million ways to be successful. You just gotta pick that one path to get there. So how do you do that? I'm gonna tell you right now, you have to find somebody to mentor you. You know what I mean? Whether you like it or not, I had a mentor. Everybody has a mentor. And to this day, even at my age and where I'm at in the game, I still look for people to inspire me and to influence me. And that's the best way to stay relevant and to stay ahead of the curve when it comes to staying relevant in this industry. So you really have to find who you are first before you go out and say, all right, I wanna learn from this person because this is what I wanna be. I've had that here. I've had people try to like, be mentored by me and be like, well, we came up differently and it's like, you're a little aggressive. I, I come across a lot of pussies, you know? Even old school, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fuck, you fall, get the fuck up. You're not built for what I got to tell you. Because what I tell you is gonna make you feel super uncomfortable and you're not ready for that. You know, you just gotta really pick the best route for you. You really have to find out what works for you, what techniques, what different clippers, what, you know, what atmosphere, what kind of barber do you want to be? You have to figure that out for yourself. And before you, you really go in and, and start getting that clientele, you have to figure out what are your strong points and what are your weak points. And then from there, the success is on you. It's a real career. It's a real path. So really pick somebody who really fits your mold, who once you figure out where you want to be in this game, figure out what it is that you want, figure out that person that's going to get you there, follow them. And, you know, don't be a sucker, man, because suckers don't last in this game. You got to really have thick skin. Yeah.